Hey there, so I'm not in class today. I had to be gone. Um, just so you are kind of aware of what's going on, I've sent this email um, for something for you should kind of know what's going on as well. But just so you can see as well, uh, go up here to classwork, click on down here. It's going to be called the annotated bibliography. Now you've had a little bit of experience already with this. Um, so make sure you are doing this again. Everything you need you to do is right here. I'm not going to read that for you because you know how to read at this point. So you can just go ahead and look up there. Um, I've gone ahead and linked right here. Um, this first link, if you click right on here, it's going to take you to this one right through here. This is going to explain everything you need to do for the annotated bibliography. So make sure you are following this um, exactly how it is saying. So this is going to be right through here. Um, helpful handout when writing the guide. I would be recommending you click that. That's going to explain kind of what's going on. Here is a sample of one written right through here. You should be having the same kind of stuff uh, on your annotated bibliography. That's going to be the first one. Close out of that so you can see that right through there. Second link right here is going to take you to the library's website. Um, this is going to be so you can get in and you can use some of the informative um, information stuff right on here. Because if you're looking at back in here, um, it's saying each entry is going to be worth 10 points. Uh, you're going to have to have a total of 20 by the end of this section. So it's going to be about three, four weeks we're going to be working on this one. Um, by the end of today, I need you to have at least three sources done. By the end of class tomorrow, you're going to have to have at least four sources, four more sources done, uh, bringing it to a grand total of seven sources. Um, each of these three things is going to tell you the login information for EBSCO, JSTOR, or WorldBook right through here so that you can get on there um, the school's paid for that, so please be using those uh, when it comes to finding your 10 sources that are scholarly articles. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Otherwise, good luck.